Cataract surgeries are the commonest eye surgeries we perform at eye solutions. When we do a cataract surgery, we implant a lens inside your eye. These lenses are known as intraocular lenses. Now there are multiple types of lenses available in the market and I can understand that choosing a particular kind for your cells can be a little confusing. A discussion with the doctor would of course help you, but what I'm going to try to do here is demystify the various lens options available for you. You should understand that when we implant a lens inside your eye, we have to choose a particular power and that power of the lens is arrived at by doing certain measurements for your eyes before the surgery. We choose a power so that you can see clearly without glasses. All right. So let's assume that you want to be without glasses after surgery and then you will understand the various lens options better. Now, when we wear glasses, there are basically two kinds of powers that you can be wearing. One is only a spherical power. The DS here stands for director sphere. It's a measurement for the power of a lens. The other type of a lens power is a spherical power along with a cylindrical power. Here you will notice DC which stands for director cylinder which is a measurement for the cylindrical power of a lens. Now the people who have only a spherical power need one set of lenses and those that have a spherical as well as a cylindrical power need another set of lenses. I'm going to talk about the first set of lenses first. I'm going to talk about those lenses that are needed by those who only have a spherical number in their glasses. So there are four types of lenses. The first is monofocals, then is multifocals, EDOF lenses, which basically stands for extended depth of focus, so EDOF, and the fourth type of lenses are the trifocal lenses. Now, the monofocal lenses, as the name suggests, are lenses that will give you clear vision for far, which will be glass free, but you will have to wear glasses for reading. So those lenses focus for one distance, which is the far distance. Now, some of you who say that we wouldn't mind wearing glasses after surgery or we would want to wear glasses after surgery because you've worn glasses for all the years that have gone by, then a monofocal lens option could be a good option for you. The other lens is the multifocal lens. Again, as the name suggests, these lenses will give you clear vision or glass-free vision for both far and near for around 85 to 90% of your activities. If you want to read a book for a couple of hours, there is a possibility of you needing a very small number for reading. And if you want to look at the ticker at the bottom of your television for most of the day, then yes, there is a possibility that you may have to wear a very small number for distance as well. But most of your activities, you can comfortably do without wearing any glasses with a multifocal lens. The thing with the multifocal, the EDOF and the trifocal lenses are that they have these concentric rings on the lens. Uh, if you compare them to a monofocal lens, a monofocal lens is actually uh, has a plane surface, but the multifocal lenses have these rings on them. Now what these rings do is they cause two things. The first is they cause halos uh, when someone looks at oncoming headlights when they're sitting in the car in the evening. So if somebody is has a very active social life, they want to go out a lot in the evenings uh, or their work involves driving around in the evenings or late at night, then multifocal lenses may be an issue because when someone experiences these halos, they can be really disturbing and difficult to drive while seeing the halos. The other thing that these rings do is if your retina is not normal, then these rings reduce the quality of vision, right? The retina not normal means you have a retinal eye problem. It could be because of age, it could be because of diabetes, uh, and if you have a retina problem and if you get a multifocal lens implanted in your eye then you may not be very very happy with the quality of your vision. Mind you, you may still read the last line on the chart 
but while reading the last line on the chart you will still tell me because i'm not happy with my vision all right so this is this, this, that was a multifocal lens now multifocal lenses as i mentioned give you clear vision for far as well as a reading distance but today we all know that we are spending more and more hours on a computer people are working for 10 hours 12 hours on a computer and considering that lifestyle there is a new lens that has been introduced in the market called edof lenses these are extended depth of focus lenses and these lenses give you clear vision or glass free vision for both far as well as intermediate distance intermediate distance is the distance uh, you could say that you use a computer at uh the problems that uh are there with a the multifocal lens are also there with an the edof lens because they have the concentric rings on them now the third lens the fourth lens option is the trifocal lenses most of us actually require clear vision at three distances which is a reading distance uh, for a book or looking at your phone an intermediate distance for looking at a computer and a far away distance for driving or watching television etc and for that kind of requirement the lens that one should choose is a trifocal lens uh, as the name suggests a trifocal lens will focus or be able to focus for three distances all the three distances that you may want to have clear vision at the problems that a multifocal lens has a trifocal lens will also have that being said however there are newer age multifocal lenses that are now available in the market which we can use for people who have retinal conditions we can use for people who have other eye diseases who traditionally we would not encourage to implant a multifocal lens in but these days when the condition is not very severe we can consider implanting a multifocal lens because of the newer lenses that are now available in the market so that was the first set of lenses for people who have only a spherical number in their glasses as i mentioned initially there could be some of you who wear a cylindrical number in their glasses also and if you're wearing a cylindrical number in your glasses but are still keen to be glass free or keen to really reduce the number in your glasses then what you need are toric lenses uh, now toric lenses are available in monofocal lenses in multifocal lenses in edof lenses and in trifocal lenses right so it's the same set of lenses as those who only have a spherical number the only difference is that they are called toric lenses because they will take care of the cylindrical number in your eyes these lenses are uh, uh, specially designed they are inserted in a particular way in the eye and they are also placed in a particular way in the eye so that your cylindrical number becomes zero or near zero after surgery so in summary if you are one of those who is not very keen on being glass free or in fact if you are keen to wear glasses after surgery then a monofocal lens may be a good option for you on the other hand if you are very keen to be glass free after surgery then you may have to consider choosing the one of the three other options which is the multifocal the edof or the trifocal lenses i hope this video helps you in getting an idea of the various lens options available and now if with this knowledge if you have a discussion with your doctor i think it would make your life easier thanks so much for watching